Hi, I'm Lou Ann Hammond, DrivingTheNation.com. I'm here with William Ford, Bill as we know him, Executive Chairman for Ford Motor Company. Mr. Ford, everyone's saying now, predicting that 10 to 25 percent of the cars sold by 2020 will be alternative power source, many of them electric vehicles. Are we ready for that as a, as a nation, as a country? Well, we're not ready for, you know, 2025. I mean, I mean so, so we, and we have to start somewhere, and we are. We're, we're ramping up. We're introducing our electric uh, focus, and we've also announced we've got a plug-in uh, vehicle to follow that. And I think it is going to be a relatively slow ramp up because we've got to get the infrastructure right. And importantly, there has to be a customer education piece in terms of what are these technologies, how do they work for you, and which one works for you best, a conventional hybrid, a plug-in hybrid, or a, or a pure EV. And so, um, you know, I, I think it'll be a relatively slow ramp up, but we believe in these technologies and we believe the customer is going to find them really uh, very useful to them. We were in uh, Orlando, mm -hmm. Florida, a couple months ago at the Intelligent Transport System, and you spoke there. Mm -hmm. You also uh, talked about uh, private sector helping out and uh, federal government helping out. What did you take away from that whole meeting? Well, there are a couple of key takeaways. First of all, there are a lot of really smart people uh, and a lot of really interesting companies working in the space of intelligent trans transportation. And I, I believe that you know, we're going to see lots of um, attention around this space in the next five to ten years. As the world comes to grips with not only uh, alternative power sources, but also uh, global congestion. And so, you know, all these companies and all these resources are going to have to be brought to bear to solve both of those issues. But they can't be done in a vacuum. They have to be done in partnership with, uh, with, with governments as well. And so, um, you know, and I believe the people at that conference understood that and are ready to engage. But you've been doing this for a lot longer than most people. Mm -hmm. And is it because of the air pollution because of dependence on foreign oil. Why is it you care so much about it? Well, I care a lot about um, our Ford Motor Company and our reputation. And, uh, you know, we're, we really, um, you know, my great-grandfather was known as somebody who looked to the future uh, and then anticipated that future and brought people what they wanted. And really, to me, this is an extension of that. Um, what is society going to need in the future? Uh, you know, it seemed to me when I joined out of college in 1979, it was a clean environment. There weren't many people that felt that way in our industry, but to me that was something that absolutely had to happen. A lot of years of fighting, but we made it happen. And now I believe it's, um, it's congestion and how are we going to help ease that and, and make personal mobility something that, that people still are going to want and still are going to you know, find very valuable. So to me it's really about um, staying very true to our company's past by anticipating the future. 